a very warm welcome to all the students to this course on organization behavior. Before I take you through this course, let me introduce you to the instructor, that is me. I'm Dr. Manisha Saxena, uh, Dean and Deputy Academic Coordinator at IBS Pune. I have a total experience of around 20 years in the field of academics and I have also worked with multiple institutes in Delhi, Mumbai and uh, my areas of interest are organization behavior, human resource management, CSR, microfinance, personal uh, effectiveness management and uh, I enjoy taking sessions on training and development. So let me take you through the objective. So this particular course, uh, as you can see, uh, tries to build a very strong framework so that you are able to apply the behavioral techniques to manage human resources. And not only that, but you need to understand the individual characteristics which impact the organization, appreciate diversity, motivate people because everybody needs to attain the organizational goals. You have to see that what are the areas of work environment that impact organizations and identify how changes can be made smoothly. So for this particular course, we would like to take you through a blend of synchronous and asynchronous where you will be having online sessions with the help of Zoom as well as asynchronous where we have puzzles, tests, online collaboration and uh, to assess what you are learning. So this is the reference book that we would be using for this particular subject. If it interests you more, I'm sure it would. Please refer to other books as well. Uh, any learning to understand whether it has gone through or not, evaluation is necessary. As you can see here that we have a continuous evaluation system and a comprehensive evaluation system divided between a 60 and a 40 percent. So gradually we would be taking you through these various sessions wherein you could have a lot of uh, things that you would be doing beyond the classrooms also. Uh, so there will be a lot of reading material, video watching, maybe activities that have been planned for you. So you have to uh, be a pro in using the quick course which is the IBS learning management system. So let's look at how uh, we have planned your uh, organizational behavior uh, course. So these are the subjects, these are the topics that we would be taking in this particular subject. As you can see here that uh, we have topics which relate to the understanding of the individual, that's your perception, personality, attitude. But we are all social animals and we interact in groups. So what is important is to understand groups, teams and leverage the synergy. Talking about leadership, conflicts, stress management. But beyond that, ultimately it is the organization for which we all are working. And the crux of this subject is to understand why people behave the way they behave. So we would like to talk about organization structures, cultures and changes. You can see here that every session would have some kind of a pre-read, some kind of a video viewing on which you will be either quizzed or assignments have to be submitted. So I'll take you through a quick example of say let's look at organizational culture. So you might have a video in that particular session. All, all the 33 sessions on your quick course will have some activity or the other and you would be receiving constant notifications of completing those activities, submitting those activities. You cannot be an in, uh, inactive student here in the classroom. So you have to watch those videos or go through those pre-reads and appear for quizzes or appear on forum discussions, submit some assignments which would be evaluated by the instructor. So we will have some things that are for self-assessment. We will also have something that are for peer assessment and we will have some things that obviously are for instructor ass uh, assessment. So this is how we plan to take and facilitate this online teaching wherein we, there is a lot of communication, there's a lot of assessment in terms of understanding diagnostic assessment, formative assessment and summative assessments. I'm sure that you're going to uh, in, enjoy this particular subject and be an active learner. So welcome on board. Thank you.